it did. Indeed, you know, we can shed some light on exactly what you were saying here. Because, you know, patents are sometimes litigated, actually. And you can ask yourself, are SEPs, standard essential patents, litigated more than any other patents? Controlling for everything else. And fortunately, somebody did this already. This is the work by, by Simcoe and Graham. And they find out the, the answer is yes. Okay. And, and this is a large study of you know, basically all the SEPs versus you know, similar types of patents that are not SEPs. And they, and they say exactly I mean, something consistent in one of your arguments. Yes, but so the fact that they're being litigated, they're being challenged more than other patents, means that, that there is actually some holdup going on and they are trying to abuse their, their monopoly power. So here, I think this is a, a classic example where if there's a question about SEPs, we can just you know, compare them to non-SEPs and we, and we can say something about it. There's another, there's another, empir another empirical paper that found, I mean, again, this is our interpretation. It's not like these guys claim in the paper I should protect them and point out, but they didn't say this is an example of hold up. This was Pierre and I trying to Look at the empirical evidence and see whether, I mean, to see what we thought. We, we didn't, have, we weren't pushing any particular theory. And there's also some another paper that shows that there's a correlation between uh, SEP patents and the value, the value of the firm, which also could suggest that there's some of this monopoly power. Again, you know, a lot of it, the evidence is not perfect, but I think this is where we should be moving um, since we've got all this fantastic. I don't know if I got my 80 steps. Okay, so I'm going to throw it up in the air.